In today's video, I'm gonna take you through my top nine brands when it comes to reselling shoes on eBay. I've been a full-time reseller now for the last nine months and it's been really interesting to sit back and go through the numbers to see what brands have actually gone on to sell best. I'm gonna take you through my sell-through rate to see how quickly these shoes have gone on to sell and also how many of each brand as well. And I've ranked them from one to nine. So hopefully it can help you out there when you're going out and finding shoes to sell onto eBay. These are the brands that I would recommend that you look for. So hit the like button if you get anything out of it today. Hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time and you wanna learn how to make money on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. It's gonna be a big episode, guys. Let's dive into the first one. Now guys, this is a follow-up video to one that I put out just last Sunday around how to sell shoes on eBay. So that'll be in the link in the description below. Go and pull that one up on another tab and have a watch after this one. This will be the nine shoes to pick up, the nine brands, and then that video will be how to actually go on to sell them. So if we pull the table up here and we give you lucky number nine, the brand is Converse. So Converse, pretty much there are two different types. You've got high tops and you've got low tops. When you have a look at the retail price points, they're ranging between $100 to $150 if you're buying these new. So resale value for me, I'm averaging around a $40 sale price, including postage. So I'm, I'm trying to pick these up for anything $10 and under. Anything over that, I probably wouldn't bother just given the $40 resale value. I've had a 44% sell-through rate with these shoes and I've been able to sell nine shoes over the last nine months. So I'm not picking up a hell of a lot of these based on those numbers, but I do still think it is a really good brand and it does sneak in to lucky number nine. The next brand coming in at number eight is Vans. I sell a whole lot of Vans shoes. They're a skateboarding shoe. You get a lot of different colors and patterns with these ones. Again, very much like the Converse shoes. These are a really common item that you can find in the thrift. And I would be picking these up again if you can find them around that $10 or less price point. They go on to sell brand new condition for around about $100. That's more of a standard price point for Vans shoes. So again, much like the Converse shoes, I'm typically selling these for around 40 to 40 $45 including post. So I'm making about a $20 profit. I've had a 40% sell through rate with these shoes that I've picked up and I've been able to sell 11 of them. So I don't buy a heap of these shoes, but in the casual shoe range, I do think they're probably the two that you wanna be focusing on. The next brand to have a look at is Under Armour. Now, Under Armour is a very well-known brand. It comes into the running shoe space, which is what I do a lot of my sales in. So it, look, I think it's a really good brand. 50% of a sell-through rate for me. I've been able to sell 12 pairs of Under Armour running shoes. That is both men's and women's, like every single brand here. I'm selling both men's and women's. Um, but I would say we're really, you're getting it into a slightly higher price point when you're selling in, in brand new condition. If you went retail price points, you're looking between 150 dollars to $250, so they're a slightly more expensive shoe than say a Vans or a Converse in the casual range. But Under Armour shoes, I think you can get upwards of $60 to $70, depending on the condition. What I will say with all of these running shoes that you're gonna see in this video, there are so many different makes and models, and it's really important that you just check the tongue to get the style code, which I've shown in that how-to video that I touched on, to really work out exactly what shoe you've got your hands on. But with a retail price of anywhere between $150 to $250, you can comfortably get between $50 to $100 of resale value on these shoes. And they are fairly popular. You know, a 50% sell-through rate, I think is pretty good. I've been able to buy about 24 pairs of Under Armour shoes across the journey, and I've already sold half of them. So not too bad. The next brand to have a look at is Mizuno. Now, Mizuno is a really interesting one because it's got a very high sell-through rate of 71% for me, but I've only been able to sell five pairs of shoes. So for that reason, I can't put it up any higher because I haven't sold too many. And that's due to the fact that I haven't actually been able to find or source too many when I'm out in the thrift. I always love it when I see Mizuno running shoes because they just seem to go on to sell really well for me. And that's the reason why I've put them into number six uh, for a spot there. Um, if you have a look at the shoes on the website, the shoes are actually really good. They can be incredibly expensive. You're talking upwards, some of them upwards of $300, but you get a fairly average price point around the 250 to 260 bucks. Now, the Wave Rider is a really good brand. Anything sort of Wave Inspire or Wave Rider, Wave Sky, any of these sort of shoes, any of that range in the Bizuno brand is a great one to get. Now, 71% of a sell through, yes, I know it's only five sales, but I really do think the more Mizunos I get, it would still hold a really high sell through rate. They're just a very popular shoe to sell on eBay. The next one, very much like the Mizunos, is a shoe brand that I just wish I could find a whole lot more of, but I just haven't been able to find too many across the journey. The brand is Hoka. 
And uh, I've been able to sell just the six pairs of the Hokas. Hoka One One, they're more of a triathlon shoe, quite a large, thick sole to them. They're very easily uh, recognizable when you're out in the thrift. You can't sort of miss a Hoka. Um, I've been able to sell 100%. So any pairs of Hokas that I've been able to pick up, they have gone on to sell in an incredibly fast space of time. So I've got to put this one in at number six, uh, sorry, number five. It, it does beat the Mizunos, the Under Armors, the Vans and the Converse, more so because of the sell-through rate than anything else these shoes are an incredibly expensive pair if we pull up the retail you'll have a look and you'll see that a lot of them are around the 260 dollar price point some even pushing upwards of 300 dollars 270 for the bondi's so look it's just a really great brand to get like i said i don't find a lot of it but geez i wish i did because with these sort of shoes you can easily push a hundred dollars if they're in really good condition Coming in at number four is New Balance. Now, New Balance are a very, very good pair of running shoes. If you can get the top of the range, they go again for that $270, $280 price point. And resale value can be anywhere between $60 to $70 if you've got the right pair. Um, I've got a really good strike rate of 64% sell-through, and I've been able to sell 21 pairs of New Balance running shoes in both men's and women's. So look, guys, like on the website, you know, $260, $270 brand new, you can comfortably sell these for $80. Bucks. And if you can be buying them around the $5 to $10, even even up to $15 for these sort of running shoes, you're generally gonna make a pretty good profit. So I do see New Balance a hell of a lot and I'm always buying it. It's number number four on my top nine. A huge brand in the running shoe department has come in for number three, guys. It is Adidas. Adidas has done really well for me, a 54% strike through and uh, a 35 items worth of sales. So look, the Ultra Boosts are probably the biggest and the best to grab in this category. Adidas Ultra Boost can go for about $280 to $290 on retail price. So you can often sell these for upwards of sort of $80 to $90. Depending on the condition, I'll probably average more around the $80 price point selling these shoes. And, and I'm pretty common actually finding them with 35 sales 54% strike rate I've bought about 70 pairs in the thrift so there is quite a lot of Adidas shoes out there but I do think the brand is so strong that they're always worth buying and you generally at least for me anyway that five to ten dollar price point is generally netting me about a thirty dollar profit and with a 54% sell-through rate they're still moving on eBay now you guys know I love this brand uh, watching my trip to the thrift videos I'm always picking these ones up they are the Asics running shoes coming in at number two for me I've been able to sell 58% of the ASICs running shoes that I've bought over the last nine months, but I've been able to sell 75 pairs. I've got about 65 pairs left to sell, but 75 of them have already moved out the door. So they do sell pretty well, and that's the reason why I buy them. Depending on the shoe that you pick up, and you'll see by the retail price points here that they are quite expensive. Again, all of these running shoe brands are around that $280 price point in brand new condition. Um, you can be selling these like I have for upwards of $100, the ASICs running shoes. If you're getting the top of the range and a recent model. Now, again, you're gonna be wanting to work off the tongue and the style code for these, but if you've got the Gel Cumulus, the Gel Nimbus, the Gel Kayanos, there's a lot of ASICs running shoes out there. The Gel Kayanos are probably number one, the, the, my, my most favorite item to pick up when I'm out looking for ASICs shoes. Um, but then there's a, a lot of different years worth of ASICs as well. You've got the 24s, the 23s, the 22s, and it works its way down. So there's a lot of different shoes out there, which is why it's so important to pick the style code and make sure that you're selling it for the right price. But it's always upwards 80 to $100. And coming in at number one, you guys guessed it, the brand is Nike. I've been able to have a very good sell-through rate with my Nike shoes. 61% of my Nike shoes that I've purchased, I've been able to go on to sell already. 98 shoes have sold in the Nike range. Now, that can be football boots, that can be casual shoes, that can be obviously the running shoes as well. But they are the most common shoe to find in the thrift, for me at least anyway. But I do get a very strong sell-through rate for a very good average price of around about $50 to $55. So guys, obviously no surprises there that ASICs, uh, Nike, Adidas are the top three shoes to pick up. Um, certainly at least uh, for my, my shoe allocation anyway. Um, but yeah, 98 shoes. I've been able to sell 272 pairs of shoes out of this top nine brand. And I've had a sell through rate there of 60% overall. So shoes are a very good category to get in. And that's why I'm doing videos like this with a sell through rate of 60% for any pair of shoes out of the top nine that I've been able to pick up and to have been able to sell 272. 
that's almost one shoe a day on average. So I absolutely love doing it. Uh, I really wanted to do this video to show you that these are the nine brands to find. But then out of these nine brands, let's have a look to see what shoes actually go on to sell best based on size. Yeah, that's interesting as well. So let's have a look. Right, so having a look at the men's shoe sizes, I've been able to sell 219 pairs of men's shoes. I've got them ranked between a US 7 and under up to a 13 plus uh, for this graph. And as you'll see, there's a real discrepancy there of uh, an increase in sales around a US 10 to a US 12. So it's probably not um, uncommon. I guess my, my thoughts would have been around a US 10 to 12 based on the way my sales have come through. But having a look at the numbers, it definitely stands to be true. The most common size there, a US 12 with 34 sold shoes. So um, that's across the board, men's shoes in any, in any regard for the nine brands that I just showed you totaling up to 272. 219 of them were men's shoes and pretty much you're looking for a size US 10 to US 12. And if we have a look at the women's shoes, I've been able to sell 53 pairs and your ones to be looking out for a US 8 and a US 9 with over well, basically 30 pairs of shoes out of the 53 coming in the US 8 to 9 bracket. So you'll see that below the US 5 and above the US 11, I'm not really having too much success. And to be honest, the numbers have probably skewed a little bit in the sense that I am now just trying to source US 8 to US 10 over the last couple of months. Given that I realized this trend pretty early on that these were probably the better shoes to be sourcing, and they are going on to sell better for me. There's more of a sell through rate with those US 8 to US 9s in the women's range. So a couple of good sizes for you guys to be looking for. So guys, that is everything. I will just quickly mention that it all comes down to the quality of the shoe. I mean, you get a ratty pair of gel cumulus or gel nimbus in the ASICS range, they're probably not gonna go on for 80 to $100. So it really does come down to the condition. But when it comes to selling shoes, they are certainly the best brands that I have been on, able to go on and sell over the last nine months as a full-time reseller. Uh, obviously a lot more men's shoes than women's shoes. That's probably more from my own personal preference and taste in, in what I like to source. That's not to say that women's shoes won't go on to sell either. These are purely just my own sales numbers and it's been really interesting to go through these and have a look to see what has gone on to sell best and hopefully digging through these numbers yourself, you can go out and better improve the way you're sourcing for shoes to go on to resell based on what you've seen out of my numbers today. Um, if you've enjoyed anything out of it, hit the like button. If you've got any questions, shoot them into the comments below. I'm always happy to have a bit of a chat. Um, if there's any information that I missed that you would like me to hear or any other future videos that you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments below as well. Appreciate you tuning into this one guys we'll see you in the next